Hello everyone, we will continue the topic string comparison operators and so far we covered our first six string comparison operators. Now we will move on to our next string comparison operator that is CP. What CP stands for? Contains pattern, pattern. So far, whatever the string comparison operators we covered, we are looking for characters or we are looking for string. Now we will look for pattern, pattern. Now the first question which will come into everyone's mind, what do you mean by pattern? We will understand by example. Suppose I created the order header and order item table in the above dictionary playlist. Suppose if I will go to SC11 transaction code. Suppose I don't know the exact name, but the name I gave at that point of time. But I know when I created the table, the first letter which I gave is Z. Yes. After that, I don't know what I put. So I will simply put star. Star means it can be any character after, after this Z. Now I remembered at that time I put something ORD. So after ORD, I do not remember what I put. So I will simply, simply go for star. So whenever I will search, system will simply, simply give me all the tables which are starting with Z. After that, any character. After that, we have ORD and after that, any character. So this is some sort of pattern. I am looking for a pattern of tables which has Z and ORD. And in between this Z and ORD, any character, after ORD, any character. So this is your pattern. You don't know exact thing, but you know, yes, this kind of pattern will be there. Suppose if I will click on to this F4 button, so system will give me all the tables where we have Z and ORD. After Z, any character, because I put star. Then ORD, after this ORD star, any character. So this is called as pattern. Pattern means meaning, the meaning of patterns is you don't know exactly what you are looking for, but you remember something and based upon that you are looking. So star, star will always act as whenever you want to look for pattern. And anyways, we have other characters also, which we will cover once the topic will proceed. Now, if we are going for example, suppose I'm saying first string V1. If I'm going for contains pattern V2 second string, in which case it will give us the true result. If the first string has the pattern V2, if first string is containing the pattern V2, then we will get a true result. If first string is not containing the pattern of second string, then we will get a false result. Again, this string comparison operator will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. Now, whenever we will get a true result, this system variable psi FTPOS will give the offset or position of first character of second string which is matching with the first string. Now if we are getting a false result, yes this system variable will give the length of the first string. Now here I added one additional column because whenever we will go for pattern these three things will play a vital role anyways we will cover Whenever we will go for star, it will match any sequence of character. Just now I show you star and you can understand fully. Star means any sequence of character. After Z, star means it can be any character after Z. After ORD, it can be any character. So star means 
any sequence of character. Whenever we will go for plus, it will match any single character. And whenever we will go for hash, it will interpret the next character. Anyways, whenever I will do the practical, as of now, you used star, yes. Now, and star here, and star here you used, okay. Now, whenever we will do the practical, I will apply these three, these three star plus n hash, and we will make, maybe we will make under, we will just go for that. What is the meaning of all these three things? Now, we will start with the practical part. This is our program. Now, in this program, firstly, we will go for the practical. Yes, in which scenario we will get a true result. Suppose I am saying data. My first string, lv underscore string 1. Suppose I am writing 30. Type C. Suppose I am giving the value system application product. Now I will go for second string. I am saying lv underscore string 2. I will go for 10 type C value. Now we will go for pattern. Pattern is I don't know what exactly I am looking for. But I know few characters yes that I will look for. Suppose what I will put. I will simply put star. Star means any character, any character. And suppose I'm looking for a double P and I'm putting star at the last. It means I'm looking for, I'm looking for, the, I'm looking for a pattern which has any character at the starting. Then we have a double P. And then after that, any character at the last. Because what do you mean by star? Star means any sequence of character. Now, if I am writing, if lv underscore string 1 cp contains pattern lv underscore string 2, I will simply, simply write the system variable. Psi FTPOS and in else part, I will also write this system value and I will go for and if contains pattern. Now, if first string contains the pattern of second string, I will get a true result, else, I will get a false result. Just see here itself, where is first string has the pattern of second string? Yes. Firstly, we have any characters. Yes. Then we are looking for a double P. Yes. And star means after that we have any character. So we will get a true result. If I will show you in that debugging board, I will just go for execution. And I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now, this is our first string and this is our second string. Now, I am doing F6 line by line execution. And you can see this if condition is true. Whenever we have true, we will get the offset or position of first matching character. First matching character, we will get the offset or position of first character of V2 that is in V1. Just see here itself. We are going for first matching character. So just count here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what is the first matching character? Which position? 7. So we are getting a true result. Now I will go for F8. Now, now we will go for second thing. In which scenario we will get a false result? Suppose I am not putting star. Now what do you, what SAP will think or what system will think at this point of time? System will think that A double P is at the starting 
and then you are looking for any number of character we will get a false result because a double p is not at the starting the starting is this if we will put star it means any sequence of character then we have a double p and then any sequence of character now we are simply looking for a double p p a double p star so system will think a double p is at the starting you are looking for then we have any number of character so in this case we will get a false result if i will put a break point and show you i will go for execution i will go to desktop 3 most preferable desktop now if we will go for this this is our first string and this is our second string. System will think, system will search for A double P at the starting, but A double P is not at the starting. So I will get a false result. Now you can see if we are getting a false result, it will return the length of V1. And what is the length of V1? Length of V1 is 30. Now I will simply go in for F8. Now, for the false result, I will take one more scenario. Suppose you are looking for a string. Suppose I will put star and I will put welcome. So what system will sing? System will look for any number of characters. Then we have welcome and then any number of characters. It will also it will give us a false result. If I will go for execution, because first string does not contain the pattern of second string. So this is our first string and this is our second string. Now we will get a false result. If I will get a false result, it will return the length of the first string. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with our next string comparison operator that is CP. But CP stands for contains pattern. I show you the example of pattern. Yes, suppose if you don't know the exact word you put, exact character you put, you can simply put star. When I show you, when we look for the tables here, then after that, if your first string is containing the pattern of the second string, you will get a true result. If first string is not containing the pattern of second string, you will get a false result. It will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. Then I simply, simply provide that I simply explain this three character star plus and hash. Star means it will match any sequence of character. Plus means it will match any single character. And hash means it will interpret the next character. As of now, I showed you only star. Star means it will match any sequence of characters. And I showed you the practical one, practical, one demo on true and true two demos on the false. In the next video, we will simply go for plus and hash. Then we will come on to case sensitiveness and we will understand the behavior. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.